Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are writing repeating decimals. This lesson, we are just talking about how to write repeating decimals. That's it. I'm not telling you how to make a fraction into a decimal. I'm just showing you different ways of writing them, and we're going to practice different ways of writing them, and you're going to see the way some people write them and the way that I prefer to write them. We'll cover all of that in today's lesson. It'll be pretty brief. So first of all, what is a repeating decimal? A repeating decimal is one that when, for example, you put it into your calculator, you'll get uh, 0.33333333333 all the way to the end of your calculator screen. Or, if you solve it using long division, you'll just always get the same numbers that will give you a 3 indefinitely. It means that the 3 goes on infinitely. But we can't write an infinite number of threes, so what we're going to do is we will write it out as a decimal with some repeating numbers and then either a dot 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 afterwards or a line above it like this. And that just represents that it's 0 0.33 and that 3 continues on. Personally, um, I'll show you the way that I prefer to write it, but these are two different ways that you'll see it written pretty commonly. One is with the dot, dot, dot afterwards, and one is with a line above. Let me show you what I prefer. Um, first off, the dot, 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 and the line, what they mean is that those numbers are repeating. Now, like I said, I was going to tell you the, re the one that I prefer. I prefer having the line above, and the reason why I prefer the line above is because it tells you which part is repeating. So you can see in the first example, 0 0.166 dot dot could mean 166, 166, 166 repeating. But you can tell in the second example that it's the 6 that repeats. So it'd be 0 0.16 and then the sixes keep going. So six, 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 and on and on and on. And you'll get a repeating six forever. The one only appears one time. And that's why I prefer the line being above. It shows you exactly which part is repeating. So let's um, show one more example. Here we go. If you have uh, 1 11th, that's 0 0.0909 repeating which I would write as 0 0.0909 and put the line over top of the 09, meaning it's the 09 that is repeating indefinitely. All right, so again, the 09 is the part that's repeating. You can write it with the dot, dot, dot. You will probably see some teachers who do write it with the dot, dot, dot or programs. So I wanna make you aware of both, but with what I do, I'll typically, um, I'll typically put the line over. Now, we're going to practice. If we have the number 1 ninth, and you can grab a calculator and you'll be able to keep up really quickly if you want to. I'll just give you a quick hint. It would be 1 divided by 9. All right, so if you, you get that in your calculator, you'll get something that looks kind of like this. 0 0.111 and it's repeating. So if you've got your calculator, the way that we could write this is putting that line above the 1, or you could put the dot, dot, dot afterwards. Let's try another one, 5, 6. Again, plug that in, see what you get, and try writing it in a way that would represent that it is a repeating decimal. Were you able to get this as your answer? 0 0.833 with the 3 repeating. Okay, let's try another one. 7 ninths. This is kind of an interesting one. 0 0.77 repeating. All right, so the 7 repeats forever. And the last one on this slide, 5 twelfths. Go ahead and plug that one in, and then we'll get to some kind of I don't know, funky examples. There, This one here is a little bit different because it does have two numbers at the beginning that will not repeat. The 4, 1 don't repeat. So 4, 1, 6, and then it's the 6 that repeats forever. 
All right, so those are some that we could practice with. These are repeating decimals. Again, I have other lessons on how to actually calculate these, so we're just using a calculator to try and make it go pretty quick. Now, I'm going to show you some challenge examples, just some strange ones that kind of come up from time to time. This is one where, again, that line is pretty important. If you do get something that has a repeating couple of numbers like that, that's definitely a challenge one. And then sometimes you'll get large swaths of numbers that repeat. Like in this example, the 142857 all repeat. So the line would be over the entire thing. This would be very difficult to represent using the dot, dot, dot. Um, but anyway, just an example, a challenge example that I wanted to show you. Something that you may see. It's very rare that you would see this type of thing. But I wanted to make you aware of it because there are fractions that do exist like this. All right. Now I'm going to give you a couple of challenges. These ones are improper fractions, so we have 15 over 13. Go ahead and plug that in your calculator, see what happens. You should end up with something that's a little bit strange. Try and write that in the form that I have been telling you to do. The line above. All right, so this one here ended up being like this. It's a really challenging one. It had that huge long kind of list of numbers like I had shown in the previous example. It also had a one on the left of the decimal because it's an improper fraction, so it means it's greater than one. So this one here was a big challenge. Let's do one more, 13 over 11. Try that one out. All right, what did you get? I'm kidding, I can't see what you got. It's a YouTube channel. So here we go, 1.1818, and the 1.8 is repeating. You don't need to write it out as many times as I did in that example, but as long as the 1.8 is, is, there's a line over top of that section, it's absolutely fine. There we go. Um, you can also write it as 1.18 and put the line over it like this. In most of the examples I've shown, I tend to write write it out at least twice, but you can just write it out like this, and that's a more simplified way of doing it. It's absolutely correct to do it like that, and it, it works out fine. The thing to remember is to draw a line over the numbers that are repeating. That's the best and most accurate way to write repeating decimals. I hope that the practice with feedback has been helpful for you today. Have a wonderful day.